Hello, welcome to Hydrogen at Home. This uh, video I'm going to do is going to be testing a few different uh, plate configurations. Um, this first one is four plates, positive, negative, positive, negative. Um, so I'm going to run that now, and I'm going to run it first at three and a half amps. And then I'm going to do it again at 10 amps. So this is running now right on three and a half amps, if you can see that or not. And the voltage has just dropped down to yeah, 11.9-ish. And that's how much we're getting. Okay, I've just added some more electrolyte to um, bring this up to 10 amps. There you go. So it's the same plate you were just looking at, but it is now running at 10 amps, and the voltage is dropping down to there you go, 11.6. So that's looking pretty good. This water, by the way, is just uh, straight out of the tap. Uh, for these simple A B comparisons, there wasn't really any need to have special water for this. Okay, now here I have a, um, a three plate cell. This cell is uh, positive, neutral, negative. So I'm going to try that at three and a half amps. And then I'll be comparing all of these videos later on. I had to add quite a bit more electrolyte to this water in order to get it, even just to three and a half amps, because of the neutral plate design, which makes sense when you think about it. Okay, so this is the three plate still, and I've just put more electrolyte in. I'm going to turn that on. It's actually running at 9 amps, mainly because I've put so much electrolyte into this water that it's, it's literally not making that much difference anymore. It's very obvious to me now that um, the larger the gap between your plates and the, the, the less surface area total that you're using with the plates, the uh, more electrolyte you need. And that that is for whether you've got neutral plates or not. But it's even more so for neutral plates, obviously, because there's you know, double the amount of gap between the positive and negative. Alright, here we have a five plate configuration. This one is wired up positive, neutral, negative, neutral, positive. So I'm going to give that a shot. So starting off doing the three and a half amp test. Just doing another quick test on this cell before I change anything else. I've just rewired it so that instead of uh, the two positives being on the outside, there's now two negatives on the outside. So it's negative, neutral, positive, neutral, negative. We're just going to see the difference. We're still running close to three and a half amps. In fact, we're probably a tiny bit more, almost four. And you can see straight away there's quite a difference. On that last bit of video, most of the hydrogen was coming off the center plate. Now it seems to be more evenly spread across. Okay, I've just added some more electrolyte to this water to get it up to 10 amps. There's a lot of electrolyte in the water now, and that's putting off quite a bit. Running at 10 amps. 11.44 volts. Okay. 
Okay, I've just rewired this again so that now the positives are on both of the outsides. So we're pulling 10 amps, and that's what it looks like. So you can definitely see the hydrogen is more coming out of the center than evenly across the whole plate. As per how much is being put out, can't quite tell. It actually seems like this is putting out slightly less than what the other configuration was. But that's just a guess.